Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working across different operating systems. One of our viewers is trying to generate a Windows executable from a Linux environment using PyInstaller. They ran the command to create a single executable file, but while it works perfectly on Linux, it turns into just a simple file on Windows. Let's dive into this intriguing challenge and uncover the reasons behind it. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To generate a Windows executable from Linux using PyInstaller, you need to understand that PyInstaller builds executables for the operating system you are currently using. This means that if you run PyInstaller on Linux, it will create a Linux executable. To create a Windows executable, you have two main options. The first option is to use a Windows environment, either by running Windows directly or using a virtual machine. The second option is to use Wine, a compatibility layer that allows you to run Windows applications on Linux. You can install Wine and then run PyInstaller within that environment. Once you have Wine set up, you can run the pyinstaller command like this, wine pyinstaller one file windowed Monte Carlo.py. This will generate a Windows executable that you can run on a Windows machine. In summary, to generate a Windows executable from Linux, either use a Windows environment or Wine. This way, you can create an executable that works on Windows. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To generate a Windows executable using PyInstaller on Linux, you should know that cross-compiling is not supported. Instead, it's recommended to use Wine. And that's it. I hope it's helped find you to that resolution that you're looking for. And if it did, please, just take a moment, go down, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until the next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.